We are all equal. Stand your own privilege. Yeah. It is embarrassing to admit it, but it is itself yes. in a variety of social And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good And I'm feeling good I'm feeling good Um, yeah, it is embarrassing to admit it, but Yes, I have experienced discrimination. Yes, someone said to me before that I should be act according to my gender and shouldn't be doing things men do because it is not pleasing to read to a woman. Yes, they treated me differently because of my sex. In their everyday life, many members of religious faith discrimination based on their religion. They are unduly restricted in the enjoyment of their civil, cultural, economic, political, and social rights. The change will only happen if we start to ourselves. Being independent to stand up against discrimination will surely impact people around us. Learn to fight for what is right and learn to speak your mind. Because there will never be a change if we did not start to our own self. Learning to identify and understand your own privilege is one of the first steps in combating racial inequality. Racial privilege expresses itself in a variety of social, legal, political, and cultural contexts. Checking your own privilege and using your privilege to eradicate institutional inequality are just two ways to get started in this difficult journey. We are all equal. Skin color doesn't matter, race doesn't matter, only one race exists, the human race. Some people think that discrimination will never end, but for me, there are three steps for us to end this discrimination. First is to listen. By listening and understanding what victims are going through and support them, I may be able to help them to feel more empowered, respected, and understood. Second is to educate myself. I will find a way to embrace and celebrate my identity, the strength and beauty of being me. And I will take an action by learning about the ways the discrimination continues to affect our society. Last is to raise an awareness. Raising awareness through social media platforms about citizens' rights and responsibilities toward racism. Let us see every person equally without race, color, class, or any discriminatory thoughts. It would be a slow process, but it's an ultimate result. We'll leave this world to be a better place to live. As a subject from this planet, with all the platforms that are now accessible to everyone, each of us can contribute by educating those who are still clouded about this topic. As I have mentioned before, all the knowledge and virtues we embody right now is because of our education that was passed to us. Everything can be learned and understood. Mindsets can be shifted and be renewed. We can fight stereotyping and discrimination by ending it starting from ourselves and from those who are near to us. Everything after that will follow just like a domino effect. As a student, there are some societies in university for gender equality and female leadership. There is a strength in numbers. More voices tackling a particular issue means there are many more likely to be heard. Helping to raise the profile of campaigns for other marginalized groups is a vital part of ending discrimination. For example, girls from a minority or indigenous community may experience racism as well as sexism, and members of the LGBTQ plus community may also be experiencing homophobia. Be their allies and lend your voices to their causes.